Hey, I'm Grump! And I'm the Game Grump! Hi everybody, welcome to, uh, Game Grump. It's just me, it's just Aaron. Dan is not feeling well, so I'm stepping in to do a little bit of my favorite thing. You know it, you love it, it's Magic the Gathering, baby. Uh, I'm gonna be playing a couple games, uh, because I want to, because I like this game. And, uh, if any of you out there are Magic the Gathering pros, please don't tease me. Um, I do this for fun. It- I'm not exactly a pro. I'm not a CEDH master. I don't- I don't- I'm not a turn one winner. I'm not a, uh, what's a- what's a winning strategy in turn one? I'm not a- I'm not a, uh, approach of the second sun combo decker, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. Uh, today I'm gonna do Arena Cube Draft, alright? And I'm not the best drafter or anything, but I'm gonna do it anyway, cause F it! It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. If you don't know what a cube is, it's a bunch of cards that you, uh, draft, which means you kinda like, take the cards as they come and build a deck out of it. Uh, that's sort of the general idea. Um, but this- the, they've built a cube of all the best cards in Arena, so I'm gonna- I'm gonna do that. And, again, please don't tease me! I- I- you know, I realize there's drafting strategies and I'm not the most amazing drafter in the world. Uh... Uh, so let's check out what we got. We got a lot of good cards here. Got some- got some Doom Scar, pretty good removal. We got Phoenix of Ash, dang, there's a lot of good stuff here. Uh, it, sh it should be, it's all the best cards in Arena. Um, okay. I... I... I do like... This is always nice to have options for having a land, but I do like that Doom Scar. That's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna take that and see if we can see if we can force white. Ha ha ha! Now I'm waiting for this this fucker. Are we passed a minute. I'm waiting for this fucker to give me these cards so that I can pick them. He's being a greed. He's getting, he's being a little he's being a little wiener. He's really, really thinking about it. Maybe he's streaming too, and he's just like explaining each card. You know this one, uh, which is probably what I'm gonna do. So I shouldn't be making fun of it. But this one has a lot of uh, goodness. Okay, what do we got here? I don't know. Blex. What is this? Uh, so it's a pest, bat, in insect, snake, and spider anthem. Okay, or Lord rather. Uh, we got a mind flow. Ooh, conclave tribunal. That's nice. I- I like to go for removal first. Uh, just cause... That makes sense to me, although Poppet Stitcher is really, really good. Um... Good. That's gonna get taken right away, so I'm actually gonna take that. Even though it didn't for the first turn, but whatever. Oh, we got more- more removal here, more board wipes. I do like board wipes. Uh, Memory Lapse is super good. Uh, it's a counter. Um, that's cheap. Uh, actually that's not the card that I thought it was, but ooh, Morbid Opportunist! I actually like this card a lot. Um, it's card draw in black, which is super nice. And nobody usually... That's, that's not, that's not like a super... Usually when you draw cards in black, you have to like... Do something, you know, you have to like pay something, like, like a creature or whatever, but this one is just like, any creature dies, you draw a card. It's great. It's going up in value, it's like a two dollar card now. Um, let's see. I'm just gonna pick that, because I like it. And then we'll see where we're going after this. Ooh! Ebb on Death! I love this card. So good. It's a 5-2 flyer, and it has flash, but it enters the battlefield tapped. So, you know, if you get, like, some, like, a mana rock on turn 3, you can drop this at the end of their turn, and then they're like, Whoa! I didn't expect that! And you can cast it from your graveyard! It never dies! Essica's Chair, it's really good, too, but this is the nerfed version. Um... Priest of the Felrites, what is this? Turn target creature card from your graveyard of the battlefield. Activate only as a sorcery. Um... And then there's all lands. I'm gonna go with Ebon Death, just cause I like them. That's mostly- that's mostly how I do drafts. I'm just like, I- I like it. I'll take it. It's fun. Uh, we got Dean of the Veen! Uh, if non-token creature... Yeah, but I would never cast it for the... The flip side. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Ambitious Farmhand. Ooh, we got a little ramp! Okay. I mean, it's- it's fetching, but it's- ah, uh, You know... I don't, oh, well, actually, I've got a dual land for blue and black, so that's really nice. 
little mana fixing here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go full blue and black, but, you know, whatever. I know you're supposed to pick those later, but... Cool reality. At the beginning of a channel, the sacrifice is a creature or a planeswalker. If they can't, they lose five life. Whoa! That's mean. That's super mean! Oh, I don't want to do that to somebody. Feed the swarm. Oh, that's good removal. Target creature... Lose like you've been... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Well... <sighs> Memory Deluge is so good. If I'm going blue blood... Yeah, I need to do that. Uh, ooh, hello. We got a lily over here. Sound the lily alarm! She's a pretty... She's a pretty girl. Um, what do we got? Ooh, we got a blue black here. I guess... I guess I'm choosing to go that, eh? Counter target creature spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Minus three, minus three. Destroy target planeswalker. That's, um... That's pretty nice. This lily's really good, though. Although... Hmm... It's kind of a self milly, Which I guess I'm doing for the most part? No. No, I'm not doing that. Uh... I'm gonna go with her just cause she, well... Yeah, I got- oh, fuck it. <laughs> I'm always making bad choices. Leave a comment about how bad my choices are. Um, I'm, I'm sure I will love every moment of them. Whenever a war kite marauder attacks, target creature defending player controls, loses all abilities, and has base power. What? That's so silly. That's so silly. Uh, okay. <laughs> I kind of love that. That's like a mean card. Oh, we're back to the- we just wheeled, everybody. That means I got my original pack back. Uh, spells you cast with mana value 5 or greater cost 1 less to cast, can't be countered. 5-5 five, five, flash flyer. For f with 4-5. Um, I don't- Mana value 5 or greater costs 1 less to cast. Well, I do have 2 cards that cost 5 already. And I, I do have a lot of really big spells, though. Definitely not Jace. Uh, oh. Well, it's giving me the automated. It's giving me the little nudge. Old Rust... Rutstein? <laughs> I don't like that guy. Uh, unburial rights. Return target creature card on the battlefield. Let's cast five? You can flash it back for white, though. That's interesting. Uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> you can tap it for mana. It's a mana rock for three, but you can also crew it as a 5-5 five five vehicle. I'm just gonna take it and probably not use it. Um, Skyclave is cool. You can bring it back. Yeah, I'll just take that. These are in my colors. I'm probably not gonna use it, though. Pay life. Return target creature to the battlefield. Oh! That's pretty dang good. Alright, yeah, I'll take Demon King back. Steam vents, whatever. Put in the sideboard. Put in the sideboard! I love- okay, I know the gear hooks aren't that great, but I love them. And also we have a Shadow Spear here, so that's really, really good. And also Radiant- oh my god, come on! This is so- this is really hard, because there's a lot of good cards here. Uh... okay, what am I- what's my deck doing right now? It is- there's card draw, there's dropping big creatures with flash. Um... There's a lot of removal. Not a whole lot of removal. And then there's a bit of graveyard recursion. Um... I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna do the safe route. I'm gonna go with the Shadow Spear. Keep myself alive. I do have these- I do have these big bad boys that would be nice if they had Trample and- and Lifelink. So that'll be cool. I want to create creature tokens. Do I have a lot of instant sorceries? I kind of ish. Not really. I might uh, I might lose the poppet stitcher soon if I don't get enough uh, spells. Approach the second sun. There it is, baby. That's the game winner. It's it's really silly. If you if you cast it twice, then you win the game. Uh, discard a card. Hmm. That's that's strange. I don't know if I like that. Chart a course, draw two cards, and discard a card unless you attack this turn. Oh! Funny stuff! I do have flyers! I might take that. 
Oh, this is good removal, though. What is this? Spells can't be countered. I can flashback everything. Oh, but it's so big. I already have big spells. Yeah, I'll take some card draw. What was that? What was that? What was that? Yeah. Ooh. Hellish Norn. I'm not in white anymore, though. I should probably get rid of that Doomscar. Uh, oh, okay. We got some, we got some, uh, some card draw if creatures die. I do have a, a token maker. And then I also have Morbid Opportunist, so there's some synergy there. Uh, but this is one of my creatures. Oh, it's a non-token creature. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't have a lot of, like, tiny creatures. Well, I guess I can recur the Skyclave Shade. Okay. What else is here? Just to be sure. Teferi's Tutelage. No. That's a mill spell. I'll just go with the Reaper. Witch of the Moors! Look at this! Ah! Who is she? Can I... Can I get your digits, bro? 4-4 four, four Death Touch for 5. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain life this turn, each opponent sacrifices a creature, and you return up to one creature card from your graveyard to your hand. What the fuck? I don't have... All I have is Shadow Spear, really. For life gain? Mmm... Yeah, pretty much. So I don't know if that's right for me. Crawling Barons. Oh, that turns into a cre you can You can keep putting counters on it. You know, I might go with that, actually. Oh, no, but this is... Yeah. I need a little bit more removal, because I got rid of the, the Doomscar. Oh, Murderous Riot! Oh, I'm passing up on a Henge?! This is like the best fucking card ever made. Not really, but it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the Rider, although this is so good! It's a, it's a, it's a more expensive Thoughtseize, but it's gotta land on the other side. Uh... How much removal do I have? One... Uh, two-ish. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take the murder card. Ephemerate. It's a fun card. That's a fun card. And nope. I don't like many of these cards, and they're not in my colors. Looks like somebody before me is doing blue-black as well. <laughs> oh! I'm just gonna take the obelisk. Fudge! This ain't good. Okay, Sphinx of Foresight. A card from your opening hand. If you do, scry. It's a 4-4 four, four flyer for 4. And I can scry 1 every turn. That's not bad. Alright, fine. I got a lot of bigness here, though. This is gonna be some... I'm gonna be struggling in the, in the early game. Somebody passed on a Teferi's Protection. Well, I'm going to, too. I feel like uh, this might have been a mistake going for these colors, because now... Uh... I'm just gonna take this to choke it out. Haha. <laughs> Losers! That's a that's a really um that's a that's some BM right there. Uh yeah, I'll I'll take some. Probably not gonna use it. So Lear is back, eh? I'll take him. Might not use him. He's a little big for my tastes. Um take a little bonders enclave. Just throw it in there. Throw it in the trash, bro. And then I got, uh, after, after this pa uh, series of packs, then there's one more series of packs, and then I build a deck. Um, the deck is, I've been kind of, I'm probably gonna have to remove some stuff. I'll take that, but I don't want it. Give me the packs. Girl, give me the packs. I want to see the packs. I gotta have the packs. She doesn't even have packs. She's waiting on a pack. Oh, that's- that's cruel. There ain't nobody here. Well, let's look over the deck real quick. So we got Shadow Spear, which is always nice. Just a nice little bonus thing. Might as well throw that in any deck. Uh... No, here we go. Baying Veil? Creatures your opponent's control get minus two, minus zero until end of turn, and it's an instant. And you can use it as land. Oh, but that- yeah, I'm gonna go with the Predation. Um... Whatever. Yeah, yep. Okay, hey, we got our girl, Professor Onyx over here, in hiding, trying to stay away. We got an Embercleave, too. Oh, man, I wish I was in red. Uh, Malak here is good. I mean, uh, but I have so many big spells already. 
you know, I'm going to go the stupid route. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do the rebirth. Just to get some, some small spells out there. Just got some more removal here. Uh, ooh, a cold steel. That's kind of nice. Opt is good. Uh, how much card draw do I have? I have quite a bit now. And then for removal, this figure is good too. All right, fine. I might be making some terrible decisions here. And if I am, let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to read them and feel really good about myself. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put it in the graveyard. If you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you can transform. And you can tap it to add blue as a land. Uh, oh. Search for Azkanta. And Erebos' intervention is good too. That's some sick removal. So it's just card draw and removal at this point for me. And I'm just gonna go removal because... You can't, you can't not have removal, bruh. Thoughtseize. Oh my god. Uh, I might go for the Thoughtseize. Ayara. She's the first of Lockthwain, not the second, not the third, but the first. Nobody's gonna stop her. Uh, I'm gonna go for the passage just for some mana fixing here. I'm getting my deck, my deck's getting a little, getting a little chunky. Might have to throw some cards out. Uh, we got Soul Guide Lantern. I might leave. I might get rid of that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill that. And. Just figure thoughts sees ba ba ba. You got some card draw. You got this this weirdo, which I can't wait to play because that's that's really silly. That's super silly. Uh, foul play. That's some removal. Skyclave. Target creature card from the graveyard of the battlefield. I feel with all the big cards that. My oh, I can't even cast this now. It's in white. Psh. All right. Well, that's gone. Uh, Deluge Sphinx. This is the, this is just good. A 4-4 four, four for 4, and you get to scry one every turn, and it's a flyer? That's not bad. Uh, each instant is flashback. Yeah. That's a good one. Bring back all those removals. Okay, what do we got here? Time Warp? What? I thought that was banned. Uh, okay. I'm, uh, and that's his oracle. Boy, this is like the, this is like the mean pack right here. I'm gonna take the time warp. <laughs> I gotta take an extra turn. It's amazing. Uh, we got Savai, we got, oh, Brazen Borrower is really good. It is too blue, but I do have a lot of double casting costs. Oh, that's right, I have, all these are like double casting cost cards. Uh, I don't like that. Double colored mana. Um, I'm gonna take Elarios, but I don't care. I don't want it. Fading Hope is good. I want it. Fading Hope's really good. I want it. It's fucking one drop, and you get to—it's an unsummon, basically. But it's—I think it's any per. Oh, it's just a creature. Um, but you can scry one. Yeah, I might have to drop some of these these huge spells over here. I'll just put that in there. Uh, which ones, though? Yeah, I mean, if I have Thrix out, then these aren't as big of a deal. So, because I have one, two, three, you know, one, two, three, potentially four, uh, five drop spells. Um, and Demonic Pact, what is this? Choose one that has been chosen. Deals four damage to any target, you gain four life. Ew. Draw two cards. You lose the game. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Not interested. Uh, I'll take Yara, but I won't use her. I'll take Oracle, but I won't use it. I'll take Shepard, but I won't use it. I think that might... I think I might need to eliminate, like, one card. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> That's super nice. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's... We got a we got a deck going. It already auto uh, landed land for me. Let's see what is that? Uh, 15, 16, 17, and then I have all these like dual, double sided lands. 
Um, I actually don't need that much land if I have all these, like, double-sided cards. So, I could probably throw something else in, but there's nothing else I really want to throw in. Uh, I kind of like Illyrios. He's enraptured with himself. Uh, because that's funny. But, I'm just, you know, I'll just see how this goes. I'm probably going to get way too much land, but... See what goes. Blue and black is like my least favorite color combo, so I'm excited to see what happens. But finally, we get to play a game, and we'll see what we'll see what's going on. I'll probably get stomped by everybody because I, um, you know, I I love drafting, but I'm not good at it. Ooh, hey boy, what you got in there? Come on. All right, what do I go first? Uh, ooh, I got. Oh yes, I get to use this right away. That's very exciting. Blue. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, you got nothing, huh? You got nothing? How's about my war kite? Time to... Time to screw with all your creatures, brah. Ooh! Draw a card, lose one life. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, so... I'm gonna make this... Uh, black so I can use Murderous Rider if I want to. Um, what is this, a sorcery? Fuck. Alright. I'm gonna... Make that a zero one one with no abilities. Hey! <laughs> nice! Uh... Oh, I can cast Poppet Stitcher! Oh, hell yeah! Rodeo! You might be a little scared right now! <laughs> oh, that's a blast zone. That's not good. That could destroy my permanents. All right, Dusk Legion Zealot with your stupid hat. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Cleveland. Oh, it's all Christmassy over here. Can I open these presents? No. Wait, you just casted the Murderous Rider as a creature? You weirdo. I'm going to go fetch for a blue because I have four lands out now. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. So, okay. You cast an interest spirit with decay at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control three or more creature tokens, you may transform them. Okay. Okay. With power two or less. Oh. Be still. Like a little decayed token there. Come on. And uh, I get to investigate, right? Oh my god. That's so nice. Alright. I'm gonna swing with both. And then, make that a fucking zero one. Hilarious. Things are going A-OK -okay for daddy over here. That Dark Legion Zealot ain't got shit on me with his dumb hat and his stupid sword. What do you got, Cleveland? Ooh, a Midnight Reapster! Is he playing my deck? What is- <laughs> what is going on here? So if anything dies, he gets to draw a card. Well, if anything on his side dies, he gets to draw a card. Go ahead, swing. Do it. Swing. Swing with your one. Oh, come on. Wiener. Alright, uh... You know, just to get Poppet Stitcher going... Oh, I feel like I should save this for a bigger threat. Because I don't have any more... Well, I do have the Silumgar. It's not the best removal. Let's see... Uh... No, I want it. I want the I want the zombie token. There we go. Looks like you just got dumped. Oh, I got dumped damage because of mur murderous rider. All right. Nope. Not the t not the zombie. What do you think of this, Sunny Boy? <laughs> Looks like my Stitcher and my Marauder are coming at your face. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. That's not- that's super actually not that great. Oh, dude. Uh, what are we gonna do? Creature tokens you control- uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more creature tokens. This is an instant- <gasps> It's an instant! Oh my god! Uh... 
All right, I'm gonna pass. And I'm gonna see what this fucker does. Because I can destroy Loth. All right, so that's a non-creature spell. So I can counter that. Counter non-creature spell, and I'm gonna destroy the Planeswalker. Bada bing, bada boom, baby! Looks like you suck my wiener. Pity our time is over. Oh, she's gonna sack. She's gonna sack those two spiders. She's gonna do it. She has to do it on her next turn, though. That priest of the forgotten gods is a mean card. She cute though. She got some kind of wand or something. Casting spells. Dang. Uh, yeah. Transform Poppet Stitcher, please. Psh. All right. Uh. Let's see what we got here. I am going to... How many... Oh, dude, I can fucking foul play again? Hell yeah, dude! Dude, I'm kicking ass right now. Things are going A-OK -okay for daddy. I'm actually gonna swing with all three and see what happens. Beginning of your upkeep, you may transform Poppet Factory back to Poppet Stitcher. Oh, that's fun! That's a fun card! So you're blocking two? Okay, so that's getting double blocked, so that's dying. Uh, fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah, boy! Oh! Uh, uh, am I about to holler at my boy? Throw down a little land there, because I don't want to see a stupid hand. I'm almost going to win. So close. So freaking close. No, I don't want to sack a creature! Um. Uh. You know, I'm actually going to sack the Marauder. Because he ain't doing anything for me anymore. What are you going to do now, baby? You got a two drop removal spell for that Leer? Come on, what are you going to do with your mono black deck? Stop smirking at me and do something. Hold on, I can I can be like <laughs> get, get a little doge. Uh nah, I'm good. Alright, I'm gonna disfigure this Priest of the Forgotten Gods. And then I'm gonna swing for lethal. What do you think of that? Cleveland? What do you think of that? Oh, he explodes! Thank you, Cleveland. Thank you for the win. That was wonderful. Gosh dang. Feels good to be a gamer. <laughs> All right, okay. We're doing okay with this deck. This deck is, is not treating me poorly. Let's, let's, let's see what else we can do with this bad boy. Hello. Please don't look at me. Um... I didn't think this deck would perform that well, but, uh, it's going okay. I felt like in the early game I would have a lot of, uh, a lot of bad choices, but it seems like I got enough small drops. This is my fox, by the way. You blocked my fox, dude. What the hell? Uh, alright, so we got some black mana here. Uh, this is not the best hand. But I'm keeping it, because I do that all the time. I will do this. Cry three at the beginning of your first upkeep. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I don't need the blue. I need black. Um, and I can't do that. So I'm gonna keep the disfigure though. There we go. Oh come on! <laughs> I just threw that away. All right, we're good. We're Gucci. We are good. No! No! Ah, uh, come on! Duh! I'm gonna. Ah, uh, yeah, fine. They still have to do it, but I don't want him there. 
Yeah, fine. He's got to look at my hand, and then he takes a card and decides that it costs more. That's that's it. That's all it does. Um, okay. I'm going to do this and put down the Reapster. And then I'm going to use the Fabled Passage on the next turn to grab myself a Swamp. Because I'm feeling fresh, funky, and free. That's me, Aaron Hansi. We got the Sphinx of Foresight here. We got a 4-4-4-4 four, 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 four. about to drop in the next turn. This Hogwarts dropout is going to be real upset by it. Ah, oh, here we go, baby. Cracking it. Sacking it. Getting myself a swamp. Give me the swamp. Thank you. And then, here comes the Sphinx. Come on. Your fucking stupid ass 0 4 colorless wall artifact creature token with Defender can't stop that thing. And I'll swing with the Reapster. Ooh! Dang, it feels good to be a Demir boy. I don't like Demir, but it's happening for me right now. No, not Yorian! Ah! He gets to flicker the birth of Miletus! Who cares? <laughs> he gets another planes! Oh, Yorian's bad! I can't- I can't kill Yorian with my Svanx. Um... I can kill it with my Murderous Rider, though. Uh, yeah, I'll keep the Papa Stitcher. It's a pretty good card. Um, alright. First and foremost... I- I wanna swing with my Sphinx. So, I'm just gonna go for it, man. I'm a main phaser, dude. I like to main phase. That's my- that's my jam. I could have cast that on his turn, but F it. I'm a main phaser. Those, uh, zero four artifact walls are doing nothing for you. What the hell is this? Well, when it enters the battlefield, conjure a duplicate of a random creature card from your opponent's library into your hand. Oh, we got my Ebon Death, bro! Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, see, so that's five, six. I'll take the island. Because I want to cast the time warp. Oh, but he's got an Ebon Death. That's gonna kill my Sphinx. Um, hmm. Well, actually, I can Malakir Rebirth my Sphinx. And take out the- oh, the Ebon Death is tapped, though. Okay. Okay. And that only costs one, so... Stinky Winky, I'm gonna pop it, Stitcher. That is an instant, too, so that's great. Yeah, I'm gonna... Mm. I wanna block that Ebon Death and get rid of it, and then bring my Sphinx back with the Malakir Rebirth, and, and get a- get a zombie. So I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I, I don't- I don't want that Ebon Death out there, cause he's mean and rude, and five damage every turn is not good. Quip creature has trample! Seek a card with mana value equal to that damage! What the hey? Okay, so he's gonna get a one drop if he attaches that to Ebon Death. Yeah. Alright, fine. It's fine. Fine. Check this fucky shit out! Watch this, baby! Block him! Then what do I do? Malakir Rebirth, baby! Get a zombie! Make Sphinx come back from the dead! Ebon Death is dead! This is what's up. This is playing magic right now. They get a one drop, whatever, that's fine. But you know what? Psh. They can't cast Ebon- really? Aw, oh, man. That sucks. Uh, seek card- yeah, yeah. Got it. Got he. Don't draw two cards. Don't do it. Please. Please. That's an ETB. I don't want that. Um, I'm gonna save this for a big bad boy. Uh, yes, actually, because then I can time warp, because he doesn't have any air blockers. So, I'm gonna swing. 
So he'll block two. He'll block everything. And he can't kill anything. Yeah, he'll just block with the uh, the walls. So I'll just swing with the Sphinx. Hilarious. Uh, no. I need things to do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, alright. I'm gonna... I wanna get rid of one of these walls so I can actually swing with these two big bad boys. Get another... No! Stop giving me mana! And then... I guess I'll just play the rider. And then I'll boop, boop, boop. Get some extra damage. Go ahead. Block the poppet stitcher. See what fucking happens. Oh, too bad. So sad, my friend. I don't know if Hogwarts dropout's gonna <laughs> gonna pull this one out. But who knows, man? Who knows? Sphinx has been bubble snared. Got the Cosmo Elixir. Oh, what's the? It's been changed. You can either end step, draw a card if your life is equal your greatest. Otherwise, you gain two life and scry one. Is that different? What's different about that? Was it upkeep? Uh, yes, of course I'm gonna transform that fucker. And yes, of course I'm gonna get the borrower! Oh my god, this is wonderful! Dude, you suck. I'm sorry, Hogwarts dropout. You don't suck, I'm sorry. I, I, mean, I didn't mean to be mean, but, uh... Yeah, that's what, uh, that's just what happened, man. You got, you got, you got served. You got served. And that's fine. We all get served from time to time. Alright, next time on Game Grumps, I guess I'll keep going with this deck to see if I can make it to the top. If I can make it to seven wins, I get 6,000 gold and three free cards, which is pretty dope. There will be at least two rares and one uncommon, not in standard. Uh, great. So next time on Game Grump, uh, check me playing Magic and owning fools. I'll see you next time. It's just gonna be games next time too, by the way. I'm not gonna be drafting anymore.